Growing up, my youngest daughter, Taylor, was an absolute sweetheart. She got good grades, she was well behaved, she had lots of friends. She was in love with Justin Bieber. I would make Justin Bieber music videos, I would sing and dance to it, and I would post them on YouTube. As a young girl, Taylor wanted to be a model. I grew up in the era of new technology. You could say I'm kind of like a social media kid. And a way to boost her modeling career, she was posting her photos to Instagram. By the time I reached high school, I had about 30,000 followers. To say the least, I became kind of insta-famous. There were definitely people that were jealous of her social media celebrity status. I was bullied. People would egg my house. They wrote horrible things on my car. Whore, slut, you're ugly, I'm your hacker. I just assumed it was mean girls at school. Then her social media started getting hacked. One day I went to my Instagram account and it said that it was deleted. My daughter would create a new account and then that account would get hacked. In the split second, all my followers vanished. Gone. I was mad. I was really upset. Over the years, all this hacking has completely spiraled out of control. I just don't want to leave my house. I don't want to talk to anybody. Now, we're all targets. Our entire family is being turned upside down by cyber attacks. It is what I would call cyber terrorism. They would even go as far as making fake accounts to pretend to be my daughter. And then they would just post horrible things. Slut, whore, she wish she was dead, wish she'd kill herself. Taylor's my younger sister, and I've had Snapchat and Facebook Messenger hacked. They start sending messages as if they're me to other people from my own screen name. I worry they have my bank accounts, my credit cards, my social security. They know who cuts my hair, they know who my children are, they know my kids' nicknames. It's terrifying. Well, the family says this has taken an enormous toll on Taylor, who started breaking under the pressure and making some really bad decisions. Over the years, my daughter Taylor has been trying to stay strong, but it's taken an enormous toll on her. A few years ago, she started dating Anthony, who I thought was just a low life. Both my daughter and her boyfriend, Anthony, were doing drugs together. It got really bad. We got her into rehab. She broke up with Anthony. For about a year, she was doing great. And then it all fell apart. About six months ago, Taylor started seeing Anthony again. She has spiraled out of control and went back to using drugs. To make things worse, to this day, these crazy cyber attacks continue. We get messages from fake social media accounts telling us our daughter's on drugs, asking us why aren't we helping our daughter? She's in danger. I do know because of all these cyber attacks, my daughter has gone off the deep end. And if it doesn't stop, I feel our entire family will fall apart. Okay, well, it's good to meet y'all, and this has gotten to be a, a really dominant issue with your family, right? Yes, 100%. Yeah, it consumes every single bit of us. Like, every single day we have something new come in. Something I wake hacker. up every day and have something new, something, something hacked. It's, it's awful. I want my family back. Yeah. I want my life back. It's in your different accounts, right? Mm -hmm. Right. Yes. Cell phones, basically our cell phones, they get through us it, through Messenger. They're always sending us stuff through Messenger. Right. We have no idea who it is. We see videos of them basically having sex. We see videos, it's pictures, it's it the most gets... disturbing thing you could ever imagine. It's right. awful. 